everybody carries at least some genes that presumably predispose them to fail on a low carb or keto diet. But if this is true, why is it that most people seem to improve their metabolic health on these diets? Isn't that confusing? Well, if you are confused, then this presentation is for you. By the end of this presentation, you will be able to understand how your genes can affect the way you respond to a keto diet, identify the good, the bad, and the ugly in your genetic report for keto, and evaluate whether or not genetic testing can help you find out whether keto is right for you. The ketogenic diet, or keto for short, is a low-carb, high-fat, adequate protein diet that more and more people are successfully using to lose weight and improve their metabolic and cognitive health. But some people do better than others on keto. For example, some people may have an easier time losing weight on keto than others. This variability of response can result from many factors, including physiological factors, sex, age, body weight, lifestyle factors, diet, exercise, stress, and the interaction of these factors with a person's genetic predisposition. Our genes are mighty molecules. They can have powerful effects on the way we look, feel, and respond to a drug or diet. But they usually work in big networks of thousands and millions of tiny genetic variations that interact with each other and with our environment. It's like an orchestra that plays in sync with lifestyle factors to modulate the symphony of our biology. When it comes to genes and diet, this symphony is called nutrigenomics, which is the science of how DNA and diet dance with each other to shape our health from the inside out and outside in.